Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though. So we're going to be checking out the infinite again here today. Oh, my God. The character I modded in as a stand-in for, like, an Eden or a Paradox. We've got a lot to process here, but honestly, th this worked out pretty well. We got a 3-3 three and three roll, which is wild. Crit and melee modifications are super up. We high-rolled the hell out of this melee damage scaling perk. Oh my goodness, this could be so much worse. Uh, the 30 luck is certainly not bad. It's like the least exciting of the positives, I'd say. But uh, damage down, also pretty much high rolled. Armor modification down, a little bit painful. Five max ma ma HP, <laughs> five max ma HP uh, is pretty high rolled as well. That can be as bad as like, I don't know, like minus 15 or something putting you in the negative for a very, very long time. So all things considered, this is just a wild, wild run uh, right off the get-go. So we obviously want to go for a very heavy melee damage run. That is very much immediately obvious. But the question is, what do we want to do to make that happen? It is a flat, it is flat melee. So... That does mean, like, hmm. I kind of, let's go with spears. I feel like I've never really, I haven't done spears too much recently. Armor modifications, HP. Do you want defective steroids? Maybe. Melee and then crit down, though, is a little bit weird, but I kind of don't care too much. I'm trying to just get our guaranteed spears. Like, we'll, we'll get that, and then we'll up our crit later. But I feel like I have not done a spear run in a long time. It's an interesting weapon. It's a very long range weapon for a melee. So it's a little bit, I don't know. It It's good though, it, it's truthfully the thing. Like it has some nice piercing to it. It goes really, really far usually. Um, and it just has like some good raw stats on it. Oh, nice. It's just good raw stats on it, good value. It's gonna be doing a lot of damage. Okay, we want to take advantage of, yep, the fact that the shop will give us the guaranteed doubles. But yeah, what was it? Crit chance, melee damage. A little bit of luck right off the bat is not bad. Like, the fact that I don't have to go for that or care about that is really, really nice. Whoop. Should help us, you know, get a little bit more crates or something, hopefully. Like, starting out that with that that early. Maybe we could get some nice stuff like... Um, I don't know, like, uh, Mastery, I think it's called. The melee damage up, range damage down. That'd be a really good item for us to get. I'll take some eight harvesting. Why not? Let's do a double. All right. But yeah, I, I guess spears are not that cheap is something I'm sort of noticing at the moment. I thought it was a, uh, a cheaper weapon than that. But yeah, like, the obvious logical direction to go with this build is probably you know, knife, since we have the super duper melee scaling and the crit scaling, going knife or whatever would be a good logical call. Or, you know, as always, shuriken, which honestly, pretty much almost any build is probably best <laughs> best as a shuriken build. It's just a strong weapon, even post nerf long ago. I'll get some crit chance. Let's, let's do a bit. Some melee. Knockback? Knockback is interesting if we don't kill. It's nice. Spear has none? Let's just get it for, like, experimentation's sake. It's... I think that for the most part we should be one-shotting stuff. But I don't know, like... It being so long-ranged in melee, maybe if we get a bunch of knockback, we can really keep big health enemies away from us. Chief among the things we care about, though, are probably going to be uh, picking up a lot of attack speed. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of attack speed. What else? I mean, probably want to go an HP regen angle today. It... Pierces a lot of enemies, but it doesn't attack that quick, so I don't think life steals the way. It's a 
percentage. It takes some attack speed. And I'm also going to open my freaking window, even though it's like two degrees outside, because I'm burning in here. One second. All right. Uh, yes, yes. What's the scaling like? Really good attack speed up. It gets a range up, too, which... I don't know how much I want the range to be higher than it already is. Okay, again, for science. We're going to need a bigger enemy, but bigger enemies, enemies that aren't going to get one shot, probably aren't really going to get knocked back either. It's kind of the annoying thing. Knockback is a good tool for tiny, low damage weapons often. A lot of the enemies that we can't one shot also can't be knocked back. It's a weird, it's just a weird thing. I don't know, maybe it's is it because it, like, interrupts their attack patterns or something, possibly? Maybe? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to absolutely skewer everything. Nope. If we can get the one shot, we're golden. I'm going to get the attack speed for sure. Epic spear. Some good damage. Uh, recycling machine this early, especially on triple elite run. Holy. Probably should have gone for muscle, dude, for sure. Whoop. Yeah, really long range. I feel like as far as melee runs go, it's the least melee melee run without being shuriken, which is barely a melee run. So I think that elites might be pretty easy with spears. I don't know. I've not experimented with spears a lot recently. Not that I'm like, I don't know if they're good. Because the last time I used them, I was like, yeah, these are incredible. It's just, it hasn't come up. There's a lot of melee weapons that are all kind of in the same sort of boat. Which is just like, I don't know. It scales with melee damage, and it has a slightly different ratio of attack speed to damage. But spear does have the range thing going for it, which is sometimes a downside. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm just going to keep going with that and see what we can do. My, my, my. Oopa. Yeah. See, like, these guys I don't one-shot, but I also can't knock them back. But I have three... I got three knockbacks, mostly for science. Who will it help me with? It'll help me with the mummies. But... I don't know. Should I patch away the knockback immunity? I don't even know if it's, like, hard scripted in or if it's just some weird thing because... I think it probably messes up enemies that have charging patterns or something. It's my best guess right now. Ooh, boy. Like, maybe it pushes them, act like, a little bit while they're dashing and they just get pushed off the map or something. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Beep, beep, beep. Sure. I would love some attack speed. Thank you. Bandana. You know, kind of want to, kind of want some range down. Yes. I will totally take sunglasses. We technically have a um a benefit to taking not a benefit, but a non-downside of taking that. Cause we've not tried to stack any amount of uh of armor yet. So that doesn't even give us minus one armor. Cause it rounds down, thankfully. This would have been a great way to already have uh community support, but so far, so fine. Spear must be primitive as well. Otherwise, I would not have 35 health. 33 health. Sorry. 33 health. Would not check out one bit. 21 melee damage. I don't know. Mostly, the, like, as good as our roll is, we're not going to notice how good our roll is. Truthfully... 
for this character until like later in the run is when it's going to be most noticeable. So I'm just thinking that right now, yeah, spears are just really good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's a thing I already knew, but just I know it again. <laughs> you know, I just I know it again now. I'll take that. I don't want to ditch the regen right now. Take this until we get ourselves up to 100 crit. I like it, I like it, I like it. But yeah, moving into eventually... Also, I've definitely not... I don't think I've used Spear since community support existed. And the worst part about Spear is attack speed, so... I don't know, dude. This is just going to be a really nice run, I think. Just going to be a hell of a good time if you... Ask me. Meleeing with full piercing from across the map, even with some range downs. That's the other thing. It lets us, even if I don't want the range because it technically decreases our attack output, it, um, it means that I can take range downs and it doesn't matter as much. That's a reason to take things. Like, for range, it's just like, you don't want to have too little for melee. You don't need to have a lot. Just, like, don't go negative too far. Sure. Sure. Uh, this is still definitely a good enough time to take that. It's just a good item now. Alloy will help us with our crit chance situation we're trying to set up here. All right. Should be the wave where our knockback is probably most noticeable. I think with the... Yeah. Ah! And yet... And yet... I need movement speed. I need some movement speed. It's hard to manual aim these suckers. Oh. So they're so slow. They they go so far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. Because the guy's not there when, when it reaches. It takes so far to, like... It takes so long to actually travel to its target. But, hey, we were able to do it. We were able to get the elite. It was a... That's a tough elite for a Wave 11 melee build. It's, like, a really tough... Notoriously tough Wave 11 melee build. Oh, boy. Yeah, let, let's take it, but then we definitely need to speed up so bad. Uh, do I take it over? Ah, uh, fine. I, ju I just said I would, so. Sure. Ugly Tooth is probably mostly irrelevant. 53. There's something up. Like, I I know that this is not like a this is not a my mod thing. This is a um, base brotato thing. The crit chance modification crit is the only stat I think that can be modified on a point, uh, like a point one basis. Everything else just rounds to the nearest. But crit, it it gives you that weird decimal. It makes sure you have that weird decimal. Which I guess is an upside. Technically. It helps, I guess. It doesn't hurt. It just looks funny. I don't think that, you know, armor and stuff like that calculates on a decimal basis. Like, if I get hit, does it calculate like I have one point? Or point... You know, my, maybe I have minus 2.5. Does it calculate as minus 2 or minus 2.5? If I was at technically minus 2.5. That's the question. I'm going to say nah. Nah. Melee damage just goes so well for us. I really want to upgrade this stinky... Yes. This stinky spear. Take a little bit more range. 
Uh, sad tomato. Eh, absolutely, but I will take it next time. Yeah, that knockback is irrelevant. We're just like... <laughs> we're going for the kill build. Like, just straight up skewer them. It'll help against the tentacle monsters a little. But ultimately, I think it was just like a wasted couple hundred or so bucks. But is it a waste if you learn something? If we're going for more of a um, attack, higher attack speed, lesser damage build, it'd be a different story. Maybe. But we obviously had a lot going for us by going for flat melee. We have a massive free scaling upgrade. All right. Is this going to give me more than 93 bucks? Maybe it might. I don't know. Finally. Okay. Which one? It's the chef. We should be fine. Okay. Uh-oh. The baby's got away. Get the babies. <laughs> You're going nowhere, baby. Silly baby. Yeah, okay. Like Our crits are pretty much one-shotting most things I would expect to be one-shotted in a very powerful build. So we just need to make sure we get that crit up a little bit higher. Because then we just have such absurd, absurd free damage scaling if we do that. Like, you have to think of it. If you hit the 100% crit ratio, all melee damage upgrades are doubled. So we have them increased by 40% and then doubled. Yeah, we take that. Even with the penalty, I'd say. Okay, again. I need to get up there. Yeah, the range on these are absurd. It doesn't matter that I have minus 65 because it subtracts, it technically only subtracts 32 and a half ish. Um, but every time I upgrade it, this gets a hundred range when I upgrade it. Look how far those go. Yeah, this is, it's, it's kind of, that's my favorite thing about Spear right now is the fact that it has such high range literally just means that I can take a lot of range downs and it doesn't ruin my run. That's my favorite thing about it as a melee weapon right now in terms of range. It's not really how far away it goes from me or anything. Like, that's cool and fun to watch, but technically, the more you upgrade it, it doesn't really... I think it gets, like, a bit of attack scaling, attack speed scaling, but it gets a little bit nullified by the range up. Because it has to travel further to get back to you. For you to enact that cooldown again. Thank you, Manolo. Get the guy, get the guy, get the guy. Yeah, you son of a. I. I want to. I just. I hope that I'll find it yet. No, I'm trying so hard to get my crit up, and you just. Just want to take that away from me. Another community support? Sure. And you know what? Sorry, Crown. Not my problem. Sorry, Crown. Not my problem. This is going to be weird. 
Did we get the explosion? Yeah, we did get Rip and Tear. I think Rip and Tear is really going to be pretty good on Spears. Because it's it's very far distance, but very a very skinny hitbox. You can think of explosions kind of just giving you a wider hitbox, right? You see that how, like, one spear is plunging back in and it's kind of hitting to the side of the spear a little bit more like, than it normally would? This kind of covers up a, a, another big one of the weaknesses of spear, which is just like... Well, if there's a bunch of enemies clumped up and your spear goes to kind of just hit the one in the middle, you're left defenseless until it comes back. The AoE explosion is very, very nice here. Dang, man. Dang, man. This is just a fun run. It's way too late for that. Even more attack speed that we don't need. at 979 that was silly okay we're gonna get towards these uh full legendary speakers I think wow okay the knockback is doing something against these guys I think it'll be nice in like the final boss for just pushing away mummies and that may sound like oh that's too niche to spend money on eh. if it's your worst fear on a bill that, like if you're pretty confident that that's the thing that would kill you it's not dumb to spend money on saving it Whoop. Just, just a fun run just a fun run. What an absurd percent on that melee. Lucky, 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 lucky. We really don't need any more attack speed with two... Uh... I'm going to get some armor. Am I tagged for attack speed? No. I don't need it like I don't need a second community support. So I'm not taking a third. Sure. Black belt, I mean like the flat melee up is it's not bad right now. The XP gain is irrelevant. That's just... It's kind of expensive. Dude. This is not a good wave for us. Not a good wave for us at all. We're almost done with the scariest part, though. Oh, God. Whoa, he just melted... Okay, well, he died on accident. And that was the scariest part. That's probably going to be the scariest part of the whole run now. Done and out of the way. I would assume so. Yeah, wave 18 rhino can bite me. Like, we got the, um... I would say we probably got the worst ordering... And waves for every mini boss on a run where you get three mini bosses. Okay. We're at point 0.5, so taking this puts us at exactly actually zero. So I'll just do it. I kind, I, I kind of want a little bit of speed. Like, I know Estee's couch and all. I get it. 
but I kind of want to be more at like minus 10. This is the second time in a week that Estes Cash has showed up and actually been at a logical run. If I don't know why it is, but it feels like it's more frequently been a logical pickup on the infinite. I don't know. It's more frequently been not stupid. Loving the explosive spears. Love in the explosive spears. We, you know, we maybe could have gotten away. We have 134 attack speed right now. We could have, we could have gotten away with another community support. We definitely didn't need it, but I'm fine. God, what a fun run! That's it. What do we not get? Okay. Beep, 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 Ah, shoot. We were hitting them both. You know what's fun about this melee build that I can actually uh, back away from this boss when he does his AoEs, and it's okay. The armor down, man. <laughs> That guy off screen. I loved today. We've been getting some really fun runs. Oh my god, you guys! I tell you, the infinite has saved my interest in playing more Brotato. It just really has. Holy crap, man! <laughs> oh, worth mentioning as well. I'll, I'll probably mention it um, earlier in another video or something. But this is just hey for the people who watched all the way to the end or skipped. Okay, if you skip to the end, stop losing. Uh, people who watched all the way to the end, you may or may not know already. I, I have stalled on announcing this in a video for a bit because of what I said. I said that if you join the Discord, you would be the first one to know when the character is out. Well, I let, for reference, uh, if you were in the Discord, you would have uh, already known this already. But the Infinite has been released for about like five days. Uh, in my Discord, so if you want to come and check that out, it is in the hashtag the infinite channel. It tells you what's up. It tells you how to download it. It's in there to download it. That is the only place to download it, or at the very least, it's supposed to be the only place to download it. I don't know if people are sharing it around. Some if, if it gets shared around somewhere else that's not in there, like it's not supposed to. And also know that you're probably not getting the most up to date version if you do it that way. Uh, but yeah, it's intended to be in my Discord. There, it's in there. Um, you can check it out. It has been a lot of fun. Do know, it's it's buggy. There's some problems with it. There's some balance things with it. I'm going to keep updating it for myself. And I'm not really holding myself to any expectations to fix anything or buff anything or nerf anything or touch anything balance-wise. Uh, I'm not holding myself to any expectations that people have of me for it. Because this is kind of just for me. It was for me to make myself have a fun time with Brotato again. And I, it's been successful at that. So anything else is just gravy. And you guys can check it out as well. It's been updated. It's been, you know, uh, there's some fun stuff to check out. But alas, that is that. And that's going to do it here for today. My Discord's link is in the description. Go in there. Be nice. Be kind. Don't be a jerk. Stay in there. Otherwise, you are not going to be getting the updated versions of the Infinite. Uh, and yeah. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.